Closed books, empty classrooms. The result of industrial action taken by the nation's teachers in protest of the pace of salary negotiations. The Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association is deeming the first day of the two-day sick-out a success as it boasts that a majority of teachers heeded its call to stay home. First Vice President of the Union, David Ansinanan, tells the CNC3 News that approximately 75% of teachers stayed away from classes. In the Carony District, it, it is around 80%. In the Northeastern Education District, around 82%. In the Tobago district, it is more like 80%. In the Victoria district, it seems to be around 73%. In the Southeastern district, it is about 80%. And in the Port of Spain district, about 75%. Synanon also commends parents for keeping their children at home. Approximately 80 uh, to 85% of the students stayed away from school throughout the country. This was the scene at many of the nation's schools on Thursday, forced to close their doors for a lack of teachers and also a lack of students. Tutor President Rooston Job says the action by teachers would intensify if their concerns are not addressed. Reluctantly, reluctantly we may have to take some other form of action. I can guarantee you that. The Ministry of Education tells the CNC3 News that based on its assessment, 50% of teachers stayed away. It admits to being concerned that children are the ones who are suffering as a result of the protests. The ministry says the measures which it put in place to ensure minimum disruption at schools will continue on Friday, when teachers are again expected to stay away from the classrooms. I am Chester Sambrano, reporting for CNC3 News.